Yo, what is happening, guys? On the Spirit Vlogs, and today we're back for another On the Spirit podcast. And as always, I'm back with Shay. Hi. Um, did anything interesting happen in your week? Um. Uh, we got a dog. So that that that, that was interesting. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Is that it? What do you mean, is that it? Yes, <laughs> is that that's the, it? Well, I already know you got a dog. Like, is that it? Is that the only interesting thing that happened in your week? Well, I've been trying to train him and shit, and, like, he barks at me all the fucking time, and he doesn't like me, sort of, but then he came up and he licked me, and I was like, hi. So, his name is Shadow, and he's cool. So, you know. Fair enough. He's I'm over like, a year, isn't he? Aye, he's, what is he? He's, uh, 14 months or something, or... You know, like a year and like two months. So it is, but, uh, I like the way people say 14 months. Just say a year or uh, such. Exactly. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a kid. It's like, that's what, in the, uh, what is it, grown ups, they made fun of that because they asked how old uh, Kevin James's son was. And he goes, he's 48 months. And he's like, but that's yeah. poor. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, fucking, because people um, always say that. And you're just like, how would you like it if I just referred to me being 20 months with how many, no, uh, 21 with how many months I've been alive? Exactly. You, you'd look yeah, at me like I'm an idiot. Fuck. Just say yeah. the fucking age. If they're literally uh-huh. six months, either say six months is fine or half a year. But see, as soon as they hit a year, stop saying months. Say a year. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm say one and that. such. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I but, don't uh, we'll do that. We, we, uh, we took him to the park today, um, you know, Orangefield Park. Yeah. And um, had this big, uh, <clears throat> what was it? It's a 50 foot. It's either foot or meters. It's not meter. I can't remember. It's, it's either 50 foot or 50 meter fucking. Uh, no, it's 50 feet. Um, lead so that he can, like, right. he can actually run at a fair distance because, dude, he is fast. Like, I ran beside him. And I was out of breath after like two minutes because that dude is fast. So he is, mm. he's like so fast. And um, we got in the, do you know where uh, Orangefield used to be, the school? Yeah. And they've actually welded it shut now, so they have. So the gate that used to be able to climb through, they've welded that shut. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, so, but we got through um, the wee hole in the fence and whatnot, and then let him into that, uh, like the basketball courts or whatever it was, football pitches. Yeah. Just let him roam around, and it was fucking and he was close. There's a basketball court, and then you go down, there's a gravel pitch, and then you go down more, mm. and there's an even bigger gravel pitch. Aye, uh, it was, uh, what would my dad say last time? Years ago, this was, because I haven't been in that place in years. He says uh, that's where he used to take his scramblers with his mates on the weekends, and he used to go and they ride their scramblers up the big... Uh, it was like it was like gravelly hill mounts, and they used to ride yeah. them up and jump their scramblers and shit, and land on the ground. I was like, that's fucking sick. It's like that man had like an actual childhood where I just sit here on my PlayStation. So yeah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's great. <laughs> yes, yeah. But, I mean, no, he, he didn't good. live during our COVID, so. <laughs> well, he did not. He is now, but you know. Yeah, but he didn't back well, then. He had his time to be young. He did. Um, he did. No, uh, hmm. I started playing this. This is just this isn't even interesting, but I'm gonna tell you because it's funny. I started playing uh, ranked in Siege with T Mac this season again. Yeah. And you see, you're probably thinking, well, that's not interesting, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm actually. <laughs> see, playing ranked with T Mac is one of it's frustrating, don't get me wrong, but it's one of the funniest things. Even when you're angry, you still can't be angry because. Sure. <laughs> Siege is a game that just frustrates the shit out of me. Um, and obviously, you you play 10 matches to get your original rank. You know what I mean? Right. And then from there, you can go up and down. No, like um, Rocket League works. You play your 10 matches. You yes. get put in gold, platinum, blah, blah. So me and T-Mac played our uh, 10 matches. We went 5-5. Five and five, So we got I got silver 2, he got silver 1, right? Mm, yeah. T-Mac, it, like, he, all he does is shit on Siege. It's great. T Mac was tilted because me and him, out of those ten games, me and him had one bad game. Every set, all other nine games, I actually mean it. We carried like me and him had about eight or nine kills each, and we carried. And our next like uh person, our team had like three or four kills less than us, even in our wins. Like me and T Mac carried every game, so T Mac started to get frustrated because we were carrying every game and we were still losing. And obviously, I was frustrated. 
And then he just started going off, and he's like, you see, this is why I fucking hate Rainbow Six Siege. He goes, it's fucking shit. And then he just started going off on it. So then we started playing. Um, We got our placements, of course. <laughs> And then the frustration just got worse. <laughs> because, do you know what happens, right? Do you know when you mm. win, you go up, you lose, you go down? Yes. Aye. So I was silver two, he was silver one. That was about three, four days ago, right? Right. <laughs> I'm still silver two and he is still silver one. And the reason is not because we haven't played. It's because we won and I moved up and he was close to gold and I was silver one. Then we lost, and I moved down. Uh, and then we won, then I moved up, and then we lost, and I moved down. And then we won, and I moved up, and I kept bouncing. And me and him, genuinely, I, I started on Silver 2, and he started on Silver 1. And we've played about 20 games since our placement, and we're still on Silver 2 and Silver 1. And T-Mac goes, this is the only game I know that you can literally play for hours on end and not make any fucking progression. <laughs> and like he actually said, like, and he goes... Josh, did you know we've been playing for four hours? And I was like, yeah, what's your point? And he goes, and guess what? We haven't made any fucking progression on this game. We're still in the same shit all. Fuck's sake. And it was just so funny because I was frustrated because I'm competitive. Yeah. I hate losing, especially when I do well and we lose. Mm -hmm. I get frustrated. But it's like he was getting so tilted because he said, um... Me and him only play ranked together because he doesn't want to play on ranked because no way ranked is supposed to like motivate you and shit. Yeah, uh. He just started going off on Siege like shit. You know, he went on like a forty minute rant and he went, you know, Siege is the only game that you can play ranked to feel motivated and somehow be demotivated. He goes, you know, ranked is supposed to motivate you and make you feel like you achieved something. He goes, see Siege. It makes me feel even worse than I felt than when I came on. It just demotivates you and it drains you. And he goes, ranked fucking drains me. I fucking hate it. He goes, this is a shit game. And then he just started searching for another game. <laughs> Fuck me. That's the point, though. He says it's shit, but then he plays it. Like me with that, I you. No, but that, that's what I do as well. Like, you, everybody, whenever they're doing shit or something, they call it shit. But it's yeah. like, to be fair... It's not like me and T-Mac were getting frustrated. Because I was getting frustrated too. It's just I was genuinely pissed off. He was funny frustrated. Because he was like shit on it. Mm -hmm. I was just genuinely like, I'm going to put my fist for a while. <laughs> like I was yeah. just genuinely annoyed. Um, Fuck. But it was funny because it's like, it's not the fact that me and him were calling a shit because we did bad. Don't get me wrong. There was a few games. There was a game I just couldn't get a kill. There was games we did shit. But say we played about 25 games. There's literally a total of like two free games we done bad. Every other Seriously. game, we done well and we carried our team. See, those three games, me and him done bad. See, out of the games that we done well, there was about one game where me and him weren't in the top three. And it was always me and him top two, usually. And we carried every game and we still lost. And, like, see, like, I'm sure you know how I feel. See, when you're playing something and you're doing well and then you're losing because of somebody else, it's very frustrating. Because you're like, I deserve to win. <laughs> yeah. But he was getting really frustrated, and it was so funny, because he was just, ev after every game, he was just going off at it. And he was like, you know, do you know, do you know what make me feel less um, frustrated? If Siege actually brought out new content, yeah, new content. I'm like, did they bring us new content? They brought us a new rework. He goes, oh, new, new rework. Oh, you mean when they've taken old content, and they've mixed it around, go, poof, it's new. <laughs> I mean, he, do, he does have a point, I agree with him, though. Because Siege keeps bringing out reworks and shit, and we're like, we don't want a fucking rework, we want a new map. So he gets frustrated with it, because he's like, stop bringing out shit, stop remaking old shitty content and bring out a new one. But it's just funny, because like, even when I get really frustrated with Ranked, he makes me laugh, to make me less frustrated. So it's yeah. good playing Ranked with him, because it's yeah. not only is he good and we do have a chance of winning, but when I get frustrated, he makes me laugh, and I calm down, and I'm like, right... Josh, you know, you, you don't need to throw your TV out the skylight on top of someone. You, you don't need to. <laughs> you, Jesus, don't, you don't have to do crazy. that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's fucking funny. Like, if you were just in the party whenever he played it, you would piss yourself. It's just so funny seeing him frustrated. Because, like, he doesn't just get angry. Like, he just, you can't take him serious. If you get uh, me. Like, do you know why people get angry and you're like, oh shit, they're pissed? He max one of those people. When he's genuinely angry, you can't take him serious. Because it's just the words he uses and, like, the way he, like, displays them. It's just it's just funny. You just can't take it serious. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I started oh, yeah. playing that. Um, 
most frustrating time of my goddamn life. <laughs> wow. So, that, that, oh <laughs> yeah, and then we also played Rocket League nice. for the first time. Did he? Yeah. Well, he, he not for the first time, but me and him together for the first time. It was me, him, oh, and his right. mate, Adam. And we played mm -hmm. in our first game. I haven't played Rocket League in like a month. In my first game, somebody's already shit talking me. And I'm like, bro, I just want to <laughs> chill. Leave me alone. Um, Leave me alone. He's like, noob. Obviously, oh, I have to stir a pot. No, because uh, they were playing. And obviously, mm. like, uh, <laughs> me, T-Mac, and Adam were winning like 3-1. No, we were winning four one by this point, and I had two of the goals. And as soon as I scored, he turned around and said, "Have you ever seen sunlight?" And I turned around and goes, "Cause I knew what he meant." I just goes, "Yeah, sure." And then he, I just ignored him. Um, and then he literally turned around after saying that. He turned around and goes, "Do you have a life? You sweat?" And I turned around and just said to him, "Cause I was just like, so I'm just gonna be honest with you." I said, "It's not the fact that I'm sweaty. It's the fact you're just really shit." <laughs> No, I, I said to T-Mac, I go, have I done anything amazing in this game so far? He said, no. I said, see all the shots. There was one nice shot I hit, and I said, uh -huh. it doesn't take much skill to hit it, though. And I said, the other shot, the guy missed the ball. He missed the save, and I just bumped it in the finish. Uh, and the goal, sorry, I said, it's not the fact I'm a sweat. It's just the fact you're really bad at the game. And he just started <laughs> mouthing off and all. And I was like, you see, now that I've said that, see the fact that you're getting triggered like that, it's because you know it's true. <laughs> But I was just trying to chill, and then he started trash talking, so I'm like, you know what? I haven't been involved in a good old friendly bit of trash talk in a while. So I'm going to stir the pot a little bit. I go, you're just bad. <laughs> <laughs> and he just started going at us. It's After not even, really. even, I would touch the ball, and he'd be like, you sweat. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. Let me just not touch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's remember we used to get called Adam Scoot all the time if we did well at something. We used yes. to be called Sweaty. Yeah, you would do well and stuff, and then they're like, oh, you're sweat. And it's like, well, I'm not sweat. It's just you're terrible at this, and I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would always get called a sweat in basketball. I'm like, it's not a fact I'm a sweat. It's just I'm good at it, and you're absolutely terrible. Yeah. But just like if, if, if just like football. <laughs> I don't call yeah. you a sweat just because I'm shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I fucking hate and if you're going to say, don't name them. Remember that. I'm not going to name them. Okay. We know who they are anyways, between me yes. and you, we know who they are, so well, yeah. we don't need a name. Long herd cunt. Yeah. Right, no. No. We're not ah. gonna we're not no, gonna go okay. into a conversation where we're just insult people. No, it's okay. And we what didn't have anybody with long hair in our high school, so it's okay. No, uh, <laughs> except for you, yes. Yeah. You may be the long herd C word. Mm. No, it was a C word, now they'd have long hair, it just wasn't this particular one. No. Right. Anyway, what were you saying? No, uh, it's like, remember whenever, like, say you were a kid or, like, an adult or whatever, and, like, say you're playing a game, and uh, it's like a story mission game, and yes. you need to do it, so you do, because it's not a side mission, and it's really fucking hard, and mm -hmm. you're doing it so much, and you just fucking die, and then you just turn the whole game off and rage quit and turn your PlayStation off. Yes. I haven't yes. went back on Batman Arkham City since, and I really want to play it again, but I need, if whenever I'm playing it, I need to do that mission. Were you not playing it I, the other day? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that was the other day. The way you were talking about it, you goes, I have not been on that game. It sounded like you're, it sounded like you haven't touched it in years, like, no, I fight the temptation to play it. It sounded no, it like, like it was Monday a long time. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Almost like Monday or something. <laughs> Today's Sabbath. But yeah. no, uh, man, like, I don't know. It's can, it's like, you're in a room, right? <clears throat> and it's this big monster guy, right? He's infected with something called Titan. And, uh, yeah. basically, you have to stun him. So whenever you stun him, it's basically like, you put your cape, like, you switch your cape in his face so the cape goes around his face and he gets all confused and then you smack him a couple of times okay. but since he's a big huge monster you can jump on him and whenever you jump on him he runs so he does and he can take out enemies but then you get off him so you do and then the enemies are coming after you but also the big guy is coming after you and he's swishing around and you have to constantly jump around and jump back and then you have to stun him again, and you have to hit him so many times, and then jump on him, all oh, while the enemies are trying to kill you as well. And it's just fucking hard. <laughs> so it is. No, and I'm, I'm playing on easy mode. So, like, <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> I'm <in there. laughs> 
This is fucking a horn. You know? I just, <laughs> I just can't do it. I feel like I we've just, all been there. Yeah. 100%. Oh, like, I've, I've had that problem with Crash Bandicoot when I was a kid. The, yeah. the fucking levels. And then I completed it and then never failed again. I just, nah. it's, like, it's like, it's, it's, it's always annoying. Because like, it's like, there's always like one mission or like one level you get stuck on. And then you beat it. And then the next time you play the game, you look at it and be like, "Hi, shit, was I that I was stuck on that level? That level was yes. easy. No, have you ever done that? It literally is like, how could I have been stuck on that level when it's so easy, but it took me a million times to pass it, but now I pass it without even trying? Yeah, that was like me with some of the levels in Arkham Knight. I played it whenever I was 16, uh, and I got so annoyed that I did rage quit it. And then I played them like a month ago, and they were fine, except for one boss battle that took me over 40 minutes to do. Oh my god. Yeah, I died. Uh, I was about, what was it? I was playing it for a good 15 minutes, and then I died, and then, but since I died, I had to restart it. Which angered me, because it's, it's like five tanks, and you need to take out five tanks, but to be able, and there's five tanks, and then there's one big rant, big huge tank, which is the bad guy. Um, yeah. and basically yeah but you have to sneak round the tanks so you do because they're searching so they've got a search beam going like out there um, and if they catch you then they go fast after you and you have to get away from them but you need to go up to them so close up to them that there's a big circle as it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and it gets to its smallest size you press circle and then it shoots this rocket at it and then the whole tank explodes and then the other tanks go to its location. Mm -hmm. So they do. But uh, it's fucking... There's five of them you have to do. And then you have to take out the Arkham Knight's tank. Which yeah. is basically... You have to go up around him four times. Because there's four points on his uh, tank. But his fucking... His beam actually spins 360. So you have to go around in certain positions. And fucking get to it. And then wait till we think goes like that. And then you have to fucking shoot it and... Oh man, it took me fucking ages to do. And then after that, you don't even kill him or anything. It just, you know, he just leaves. <laughs> and then yeah, you have to have another boss fight with him. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's it's very frustrating. But it's fun. But it's very frustrating. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah. it's frustrating. Um, yeah. I was going to say. Oh, yes. Oh, I did. I'm not going to talk about this too much because a few subscribers want me to actually do like a, um, a thoughts video. But... Obviously, you didn't watch the press conference, right? But did you see the clip circling of Jake and Ben Askren at the the, the press conference? Uh, we were taking the piss in the group chat yesterday. I didn't even know there was a press conference, to be honest with you. It was it was last night. Like I say, I'm not going to say too much, because like, even though I've already watched it, my subscribers want me to actually do a video where I just say my thoughts on it and shit and break it down so you can do it. But it was like, there know. was they had a face-off, and... um. Jake was obviously like mouthing off, blah blah, as you do. Ben Askren was just kind of staring at him. And then Jake got in Ben's face. Ben turned around and put his hand and, like, no way you shove someone in the face. Ben yeah. done that. And <laughs> Jake, I don't know if, I don't know, right? I genuinely don't know. And I don't think Jake knows whether he punched Ben Askren or he slapped him in the ass because <laughs> that was the a pillow hits harder. And he Seriously? was just, I'm not saying Jake hits like a bitch, but it's the way he done it. He did, he, obviously Jake wanted to like stand his ground, but he, he did not fully commit to that punch because that was fuck all. But it was so funny because like, as soon as he done that, he like punched like Ben Askren in like the ass and then he shoved him and Ben didn't even get phased by the punch. He just looked at Jake and laughed and walked away. And it was so did funny. Did he actually punch, punch him in the ass? Like he he swung and it looked like it was in the it looked like he was going for the body but it was like he went so low it looked like he just slapped him in the ass and then pushed him. Oh it was so funny. Yeah. You'd need to see the clip, like, but it was just really funny. I just wanted yeah. to say that because it was really funny. But um, it also it makes me want to watch it. To be fair, you need so to just watch that one part. It's circle and everywhere. It's just funny. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And then do you know do you know what twenty twenty one is missing? Do you know what twenty twenty one needs? Yeah. Hype. You guessed it. More influencers punching each other in the face. <laughs> I didn't guess that, but okay, I'll go with it. Yeah! yeah! No, um, <laughs> I just want to see your thoughts on this. Like, I don't know how I feel, but... So, obviously, YouTube boxing was big. 
Mm. I was a big fan of it because not only do I love boxing, I love seeing people who talk shit actually brawl it out in the ring. That's just me. I, I prefer to see two people that dislike each other sort it in the ring instead of talking behind the keyboard. That's just me, right? Yeah. And now there's a new event going on in June or July. Um, and it's YouTube versus TikTok. And it's literally yeah. YouTubers are boxing TikTokers. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of just like, that's stupid. But at the same time, I'm like... I like seeing, but I like boxing, and I just, like, ju I didn't watch YouTube boxing because I was like, oh, I'm looking for skill. I watched it just because I like to see people I know that dislike each other punch each other in the face. Like KSI mm -hmm. and Logan. I like both of them. Pretty entertaining to see each other punch each other in the face. Not because the skill was really good, but just for the fact of it was competitive. And I think yeah. it's, like, more competitive than a real, well, not competitive, but I think it, like, means more than just a real boxing match. Because, like, boxers lose. Where you live online, you lose. You're going to be no tortured. But it's like yeah. that. And uh, this is, a uh, so Austin McBroom, you don't know who he is, but I told you about him before. He's uh, his family, and he's fighting <laughs> none other than, do you remember who I told you? The TikTok version of Jake Paul, Bryce Hall. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> So, Austin McBroom is fighting Bryce Hall. Deji is on... Deji's fighting uh, Taylor Holder, whatever you call him. I don't know who it is, but Deji's on... So, <clears throat> what's Deji going through? Just, like, not train again? Well, apparently he's training hard for this one. I hope, fucking hope so. I want to <laughs> see him redeem himself. I want to see Deji train his ass off. Like, it's not like it overly means anything, because it's just, mm. like, YouTube boxing. But it's still, like, it's something that... It's not like, right... It's not like you're winning a world title, but it's like you're still doing something because even there's like for the first like YouTube event, a lot of them did it to get in shape and a lot of them yeah. did it to put on a show and they were proud of the show they put on. So it's like they, they're doing this whole event, obviously for money, but um, <laughs> they also want to do that. But I want to see Deji uh, actually train. Um, no, 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 Taylor Holder isn't who he's fighting. Sorry. Uh, but Deji's fighting uh, TikTok. I just want to see Deji knock him out. Because the re the reason I'm actually excited is because Fadal, which is no JJ's trainer, KSI, he yeah. he even said he turned around and said Deji is more naturally gifted than JJ at boxing. It's just JJ had the work ethic to make himself better. Deji didn't. He said, but mm -hmm. naturally gifted, Deji is better. So I'm like, if he's naturally better than JJ, if he had JJ's work ethic, he could be really good. So I want to see him. Work. It's also for the fact that it's YouTube versus TikTok. And obviously I want YouTube to win. <laughs> I want yeah. YouTube to win. Team YouTube. But um, and then Gib. Um, I just want to see it because Gib is so fucking like, fun. He's trying to get on it. And then Alex Wasabi is trying to get on it. And it's just like all a bunch of like, YouTubers just being like, I want to fuck up this TikToker. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what it is. Uh, but I, 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 I kind of can't wait for it because I just love seeing like influence fight. No, it's to it's be honest, well, I don't know. I don't really like. I don't really get TikTokers. You know what I mean? Because like, it's just I don't watch either of them. To be honest with you, like YouTube or TikTok, because I've watched YouTube in fucking ages. But if I do, it's just to go on and watch like a lower video on something. But yeah, you know, I don't get the whole like. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just don't get. It. You don't get but the brand uh, YouTube versus TikTok. No, I get the brand YouTubers oh. TikTok because it's a bunch of big YouTubers and, and yeah. shit like that and then TikTokers and all that, but it's just, I don't know. It's just social media. Fucking yeah, but that, that's stuff. the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's but the fun of it. Uh, that's fun see, of it. So like I said, maybe it's just me, but... Maybe it's just me, but when people talk shit online, I like to see people back off their words rather than sit behind a keyboard and just talk shit. That's just me. Oh, yeah. Like, when somebody sits behind a keyboard and talks shit, I have no respect for them. If you get in the ring, even if you get beat, I'll respect you because you got in the ring. That's why when JJ and Logan fought, they talked shit, they got in the ring. Jake and Deji talked, they got in the ring. You know what I mean? They're like... Mm. If you want to make diss tracks and all, that's entertaining, but I'd rather you just get in the ring and punch each other in the face because it's more entertaining. Fair enough. It's, it's just me. It also means as well that because people mouth off for no reason and people are like toxic assholes to people for no reason. We're we're in a day and age on YouTube now where it's like if you talk shit, they're probably going to call you out to a boxing match, which means you're going to look like a bitch if you don't accept it considering you talk shit first. So if you want mm -hmm. to talk shit, you better be prepared to back it up or else you're going to get the piss taken out of you and you're going to dig yourself into a hole, you know what I mean? So it kind of yeah. limits people being assholes for no reason. 
Because they know they'll have to back it up, which is good, because YouTube's a very toxic place and there's a lot of assholes. So the fact that you get these assholes, you put them in a ring and you make them fight, especially if you don't like either of them, it's very mm -hmm. fun. Because you're like, I'm getting two people I don't like in the ring hitting each other in the face. It is, I pay. I pay to see this. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's like this, yeah. Imagine two people from high school that you didn't like having a fight and punching each other in the face. You're going to be all for it, aren't you? Because it's two people you don't like hurting each other. Yeah. You're going to be yeah. all for it. That's the way it is. <laughs> That's literally the oh, way yeah. it is. It's just Forgot for entertainment. You know? Yeah, it's it's like that. It's like, or if you like somebody and you dislike somebody, you want to see the person you like not only succeed, but you want to see them knock out the person you dislike. It's just this whole thing where it's just like, it's hype. You know what I mean? Yes. It's just them. I, I like boxing. It's just hype. I like to see that rather than just people tweet at each other. I just think it's more entertaining, you know what I mean? I <laughs> But yeah, I, I fucking... There's so much boxing going on lately and everybody's fighting. It's great. It's great. <laughs> During COVID as well, and there's so much boxing and men yeah. touching each other going on. Like, I mean, you know. <laughs> they, they do get COVID tested and like at the press conference with Jake and Ben, uh, they have cubicles where there's a glass uh, plane or however the fuck say it in between them. Um, yeah, For another face-off. For their face yeah. off so they don't come contact. But obviously Jake being Jake. I, I don't even care. Else. He's he's an asshole. Um, no, this is the reason why I'm calling Jake an asshole. Because they were supposed to stand there. Jake wouldn't get in the cubicle. So Ben came out and they faced off face to face. And yes, it was mm. more entertaining. But COVID is still a thing. I don't, mm. I don't give a shit if you want to make the hype. COVID is still a thing. And you need to start respecting that. And stop being a, a fucking asshole. But, exactly. He doesn't but, um, treat it like it's a thing though. What? He doesn't treat it like it's a thing, no, that's a problem. That's that's my problem, that's what I said. Like, I get the hype. It was more entertaining because that shit happened with Ben, but it's like, you still gotta remember COVID is still a thing. I know you don't give a shit because you're Jake Paul and mm. COVID's fuck all to you, but there's people who hear the facts and you need to start respecting that, so. Exactly. But yeah, no, I, I just wanted to bring that up just to let you know that there's more people punching each other in the face. And, <laughs> and it's great because it's becoming a trendy thing, <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you know see, see, in like, when I'm like 20, 40, oh. and like, our kids are going to ask us, oh, dad, what was the best part of your life? And our answer is just going to be, oh, well, there was a time where YouTube boxing was, and you're like, no, I, what I is don't. that? Did you go out and actually do stuff? No, I just sat and watched it on the phone because I'll social my media was my life. It's when, yeah. whenever my kids ask me, what was the what was the moment in your life that you felt the most accomplished? It won't be having you. It won't be marrying <laughs> your mother. It will be yeah. when KSI's hand got raised and you heard from the United Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I was a very proud moment. <laughs> that was a very happy moment. <laughs> or, as we, or as we heard it the night that we watched it from the United yes. and then a pause for about a ten minute six pause. minutes. Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like at the moment we thought that there was a long pause because he actually goes yeah. from the U no, he goes from the United Kingdom. He pauses before. But we no. thought he paused between United and Kingdom. Because I thought Kingdom. he did it because United States, United Kingdom, it added the effect. Then I watched it back and I'm like, no, it was just me being so involved that I felt like I was waiting 10 minutes. Like, that. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's, that's what I thought as well. I remember that. We were all standing huddled whenever fucking he was saying it. Oh. Ah. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I uh, you know it was great because I remember fucking dude we all jumped and shit and I was like yeah we won nice so <laughs> oh fuck I'm gonna stop this here then right so I don't know why I did that voice <laughs> um yeah no we'll just answer a couple questions here literally just I went on grabbed a couple of random questions I just looked for something that wasn't like gonna take us ages to answer yeah, so it's just the right. first one, basic one. So I'm gonna ask him, how has your 2021 been so far? Terrible, thanks. <laughs> Man, it's, it's it's been all right. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's like it could be worse. Far enough. That's just the way I'm looking at it as well. Like, yeah, it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's it, it ain't been good, but it, it could be worse. So it's like, uh. yeah. It, 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 it don't get it wrong it's not fucking good but it, it could be worse like I said so I'm just I'm, I'm used to it by mm -hmm. now so it's just average I guess 
Viking know, Frost. Or, <laughs> no, I, um, I would say fucking January was all right. February was absolutely god awfully terrible. Um, and then March is looking up. So I'd say that. <laughs> I'd say that much. So. I, I what do you have you do you think the first three months have flew in or dragged them? No oh, flu. They have flown in. It's already February yep. or March twenty twenty one. It's nearly April. Yeah, right. it's, it's near April. Yeah. What, what day like, is this? You said twenty. It's twenty seventh March. Holy shit! Jeez. <laughs> Damn. Three months. It will be my birthday to this day. Yeah. Twenty <laughs> seventh June two thousand. It was okay. a year ago. Uh, four days ago that the first lockdown started. Jesus. That's that's, that's crazy. Fucking. Uh, what was it? On the eleventh of April, it will be a whole year since I shaved all my hair off. <laughs> oh yeah. So it'll be a year since I haven't had a haircut, and it'll be a year since I've been grown it. So Fair it's enough. down now to my. It's just past my eyes. It's Christ. near my nostril. I love how, how um. It is. I love how you've been growing your hair for about a year. I've been growing mine for about three months, four months. Yeah. No, not even four months. About three months. And I still have longer hair than you somehow. <laughs> like, my fringe yeah, well, is ridiculous. I started from fucking... That's why, though, because my hair... It's weird, my hair. Because, like, the back of it is extremely long. Like, right now, it's, like, so long. But, like, um, the fucking... The top, it's the same length as the back. But, obviously, yeah. it has to grow up and then down. But, I think it's my forehead. It's on my forehead, though. But, it's, uh, it's the fact that, like, I started from completely bald. So, yeah. usually, like, say I started from, like, a one or two, which is what my hair was before I shaved it. It yeah. was what it was in the top, I would say. Then it would be longer than it is now, but, of course. But uh, I would have preferred that, me growing it from that length, because it means the top would be uh, longer or looking the same length as the as the back. But now it looks like the back is longer than the top, and I don't like that. So, mm. so for a while, there, I looked like a fucking mad scientist, Mr. Burns fucking thing. So, because uh, it was, like, so noticeable that it was longer on the no, sides. My, my hair is... Fuck's sake. My hair is ridiculous. I was literally just about to say my hair is ridiculous, right? While fixing <laughs> the hair at the back of my head, I moved my finger once and I saw it in the camera. My hair stuck out. I literally moved it the time it's and it just stuck out. My hair at the back. Yeah. Like, you can't see it, but you'll see if you watch recording back how long it is. And then my fringe is down to past my nose now. And that's mm. people will be like, oh, that's not that long for three months. No, when you have a big enough forehead like me, and it has to go the whole way over. It is. Yeah. If my hair no, covers the entirety of my forehead, it is long, and I need a haircut. <laughs> that's the yeah. way it is. But um, it literally, it's it's so long. I can't wait to get a haircut. Oh, it's like I actually had like that point. Um, the other week where I'm like. Should I actually just shave my fucking head? Like, I was actually just like that. I'm, I'm sick of this so much. I just had, like, a fucking, like, fucking midlife crisis, like, mid fucking breakdown. I was like, should I just shave my fucking head? Because I've just given up now. I just had have no ever... fucking hope. I'm like, I've just given up. <laughs> well, have you ever had a skinhead before? Yes, Shay. Sure. Yeah? Yes. Oh, p fucking third year, yes. I had a skinhead from I was basically, like, fucking P1 up until third year, and I fucking hated it. Oh, fuck. I think you should go skinhead. No. Like, now that you're 21. No. I think... No, not skinhead, but, like, at least buzzed or something. No. You know, just fucking... That would look so different. But so, it would mainly just be... I'd have more forehead than her. Yes. <laughs> no, I... I have more no, forehead than her now, and it's long. No, because my mum always made me have a buzz cut from, like, P1 up to, like, third mm. year, and I fucking hated it. I told yeah. her multiple times I hated it, but it didn't matter what my opinion was because that's the way she liked it. So, oh, no. I, do you know what I said? Right. I remember I said, try, goes, you know what? I wish I could turn back time and I wish I got bullied because then I could have blamed on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no I, I fucking hated it. That's the reason yeah. I grew my hair long um, in high school because I wanted the exact opposite of what I had because I hated it. And now I've found yeah. the perfect in between. I know the way I like my hair. I like it. Lo like longish on the top of a fringe and short round the back and sides. Like I, I've found mid tier is where I like it. Cause yeah. like long hair, first off, I don't suit it. Um, I did back then in my opinion, but now looking at, it, I don't suit it. And uh, so I suit this hair better. Not only that, but it's just a bitch to take care of. And in fucking skinhead, I just don't like it. Some people like 
they get away with it. I don't suit it, so I don't like it. <laughs> uh, that's fair enough. I have an odd shaped head, so mine. I like I like skinhead, but it's kind of like you can see the dance in my head. You can see the big scar on my head as well. If I can <laughs> never tell off the motorbike, so that reminds me right. of the time you got roasted and you goes, "Fuck you, my head's yeah. not dented." <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like uh, what was it? Some 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 dude. He said uh, that my head looked like the destroyed version of the Death Star, and I was like, "Yes, yeah, fuck you, guy." But no, it was. You uh, fuck you. My head's not dented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I actually, you know what, you know what I love, it's the fact that, like, today, of course, I get, I have a shower every day, but, and I wet, my hair is wet every day, so it is, because I wet yep. my hair, even though I don't, uh, I only shampoo and, like, conditioner it or whatever, like, every three days or something, because it doesn't need it, you know what I mean, it's like, my mum, she would shampoo and conditioner her every day, but your hair doesn't need it, you know what I mean, so, but, it's the fact that, like, now, that it's long and it's it's got that it's it's got its own natural greases in it that it needs is that I can just put it back behind my ears but it's like whenever it goes back behind my ears the bottom of it is so long but the bottom of it always curls up so it yeah. does so it it's like it's just it looks messy and it looks great I, I don't know I like it. I don't like the top of it though because the top of it goes over to the this side I can't I don't know what this side is left so it's the left side um, and it just fucking shows bit of my forehead I'd prefer to be in the middle, like a middle part, but I don't think you can do that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I can only do that if it... Uh, no, there's a middle part right there. So, yeah. But I prefer it to be a proper middle part. Um, and then it would look better. But, I don't know. I love how we I went just, from like answering a question about how your was to just talking about her. So, we'll move on before people get bored. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, because I was doing like it as her. well. I'm just realising. I'm like, people yeah. are just going to get bored. We need to stop doing this. Um, oh, well. It's us. Awesome. Yeah. Well, it's not. Oh, well. <laughs> no, um, the next one is, like, I just picked it because it's, like, because I just chose these fucking questions before I came back. So I literally chose mm -hmm. it because it kind of, like, fitted what I was saying before. Somebody asked, what do you think is the most toxic social media? Oh. No, it's just, it fits whenever I was talking about how YouTube boxing kind of, like, limits that because people don't mouth off uh, as much. I was like, what do you think is the toxic, most toxic social media? We'll take... We won't count YouTube or anything. Like we'll count like just talking social medias, and then we'll count everything. I think yeah. I think it's easy in my opinion. Yeah. What do you think? I've got mine already. Yeah. What is I it? would say Twitter. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my is god. So toxic. Twitter yes. is where the whole cancel culture thing. I hate cancel culture, but Twitter is where that all stems from. The start hashtags and shit. Yeah. And like it's so you know what I mean, and you you get the people that are like cancel him because he's done bad things in his past but then they go and send death threats to that person I'm like yeah yep. like you're you know how stupid are you you know what I mean like you're sending death threats to a person because they said one wrong thing in their past but you're literally sending a death threat to them you know what I mean like that I, makes I you no better than them logic. exactly yeah. I don't get people's logic it's like if somebody does something you don't like you don't have to like them but if you go out of your way to intentionally like, go for them you're just stooping to their level which means you're just exactly. becoming a piece of shit too. if you think yeah. they're a piece of shit you stoop to their level you're now by your own definition a piece of shit so I don't get it if somebody does exactly. something I don't like I just ignore them Unless yeah, it is it's... physically to the point where I am, like, angered. Like, if somebody does something, I don't fucking bother myself with what people do online. I don't give a shit. I have a life. But it's, like, unless it's something, like, the whole, like, the whole thing that happened, like, last year with, like, George Floyd. No, that pissed me off. That, mm -hmm. that got me going. I was furious. But, like, if it's just, oh, yeah. like, a basic thing, like, somebody's being an asshole, like, I'm just kind of just, like... Like, I'll take the piss. I'll focus on it for taking the piss, but I won't focus on it for getting annoyed because I'm, like, well... Just because I don't like him doesn't mean he's going to change. It's just like, people don't like me. I'm not going to fucking change, so I just don't. So I remember somewhere, but Twitter is literally that platform that's literally like, as soon as one thing is said, like KSI quit Twitter, sure, the yeah. other day. He literally uh -huh. quit Twitter because, um, so anyway, the most oh. toxic place <laughs> is Twitter. And yes. counting everything aside Twitter, TikTok. Fair enough. I don't use TikTok enough. TikTok is toxic as shit. Like, sure. the amount of times I've literally seen, like, YouTubers even that went on to TikTok and they've literally said, no, nah, I just deleted the account because it's just all toxic. Fair enough. It's just all toxic. It's like, uh, see, it's like you, you don't have to care about what, you don't have to get upset over people's opinions of you to just, ha like, 
have it up to here with the toxicness. Like, yeah. I don't give a shit about people's opinions, but if I was on a platform that was just toxic all the time, I'm going to leave it. Not because I'm like, oh no, they, they think this about me. I couldn't give two shits. I'm going to leave it for the simple fact of why would I surround myself with negativity? If, if yous are just going to be negative and I'm not gaining anything positive from it, why am I staying? Like, I'm not yeah. leaving because I give a shit what you think of me. I'm leaving because it's just negative all the time and I'm not gaining anything positive from it. So if you're not gaining anything positive from it, why, why are you doing it? That's why yeah. KSI left. Because, like, even when KSI tweeted, all you would see under his thing is literally, like, oh, dead in the ass, fat naked, and all, blah, blah. Which, yes, it's Funny. humor. But it's just repetitive. Mm. And it's fuck. Yeah. See, it's like, here's the difference, right? His Reddit videos, when they call him a fat naked or they call him this and that, they do it creatively. See, when you're mm. just commenting fat naked constantly, that's not creative. It's not funny. Like, I mm. get you're trying to be funny. You're trying to be, because it's not funny. If you're going to do it, do it creatively. See, when you're constantly saying it, it's not funny. The joke is dead and it's repetitive. That's why mm. I like his Reddit. Because they roast him in a fun way, and he takes that. Twitter, they're trying to do it in a fun way, but it's not funny. That's and it's just reasons. like, see when a joke is being constantly like repeated? It's like beating mm. a horse with a dead horse with a stick. That's literally yeah. what you're doing. Like, the joke is dead. And then Twitter, okay. no, sorry, TikTok, like I said. Like, I've posted TikToks, don't get me wrong. There's been some positive feedback, but literally... Um, first ever comment I got was a hate comment, and then I've gotten so many comments where, like, literally, I posted a TikTok where I took the piss out of the fact that Siege reworks maps and won't give us new content. Mm -hmm. Somebody commented with a proper, like, he was actually trying to make a point. This is a TikTok where I was taking the piss. He's trying to make a proper point, and he's like, oh, they take all the, the bad maps and they rework them, and I'm like, yes, they do. But I would still prefer a new map. And then yeah. he started getting triggered by that. And I'm like, look, right? Do I yeah. think the reworks are good reworks? Yes. Doesn't mean I want them over a new map. And look, I have my opinion, right? If I want a yeah. new map, I'm going to want a new map. Do you, Oh, you don't like that? Tough shit. I want a new map. Simple ass. <laughs> like, the, the new rework of, like, the border map, I like it. I still would have preferred a new map. And, like, you could tell he was genuinely getting annoyed. And you're like, fam, it's a TikTok. Yeah, it's, I legit. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a TikTok. Really? Where I'm taking the piss out of you, but so chill the fuck out. <laughs> like, the, the, <laughs> calm yeah. down. This isn't like I'm not going to get Ubisoft to shut down as a company because of this TikTok. I'm taking the piss. Like, yeah. fuck me. But like, you tell he was generally getting annoyed, and you're like, could nobody take a joke anymore? And see if you don't like it, click off it. <laughs> I did, I, I'm going to say this, or I'm going to say this very simply, right? It doesn't matter whether you're on YouTube, it doesn't matter whether you're on TikTok, it doesn't matter whether you're on Twitter, Instagram, even if you have somebody Snapchat, right? Mm. If you have somebody on social media, if you subscribe to somebody or you watch somebody's videos or listen to their music on any platform or you talk to them or you hate the post day thing, delete them. <laughs> don't pay attention yeah. to them. Tom McDonald's. You don't like Tom McDonald's music? Don't listen to it. <laughs> Yeah. You don't like Dax's music? Don't listen to it. You don't like PewDiePie's content? Unsubscribe. Don't watch it. <laughs> like You, you don't like what this person's tweeting? Unfollow. Block yeah. them. Don't listen to them. Don't read their tweets. It's not hard. <laughs> like, yeah, see if like, you don't like something, distance yourself. It's not hard. <laughs> Fuck yeah. me. It's like talking oh, it's... to a bunch of children. Like You're literally just like, if you don't like something... Distance yourself. You are the. I guarantee you're the same person that says that you make your own choices in life, which you do. So you can't turn around to me and say I'm forced with this shit. It's like say, fucking, I don't like. Let me let me think. Onision, random person here. I don't like Onision. He's an asshole. Do I follow him at all? No. I, I don't even remember his existence half the time. I follow Jake Paul for his fights. I don't watch his content because I don't like his content. I don't listen to his music because I'm not a fan of his music. I watch mm. him fight. Whether I don't care whether he wins or not is different. But I don't go out of my way to look at Jake Paul's Twitter just to be an asshole. Because I'm like, look, <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> there, I subscribe to many people that I enjoy their content. And I'm going to do that. Mm. I'm not going to go on Jake's thing, sit there for 10 minutes, just be like, nah, and dislike the video. I'm not sad. So if you don't like something, unfollow, unsubscribe, don't listen to it. 
go do something you actually like and stop complaining. Like, it's the, don't get me wrong, it's not that for... I'm not saying, I'm not comparing, because I know people will take this out of context. I'm not saying real world shit. I'm talking about social media. I'm not saying real world shit. Like, if you don't like racism or homophobia, that's different. I'm talking about social media where somebody is a content creator and you don't like their content or you don't like them as a person. That is completely yeah. different. You can separate yourself. It's not like it's a real world problem. It's a problem between you and one other person. There's yeah. billions of people in the world. You don't have to be associated with that person. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, we'll see. So it's... Twitter, TikTok, fuck me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> see, that's what I was going to say to you as well. There is whenever you said that, is remember you said like unsubscribe or turn it off or something or like, you know, that because it's not real world shit. But that is, I think, in my opinion, that's the problem with social media today and everybody today is that everybody's lives are so consumed by fucking social media and what social yeah. media has to say about things and like, oh, what's my favourite YouTuber? What's my favourite TikToker doing now? Or, oh, the, the post of the new video, I need to watch it right this instant and stop whatever the fuck I'm doing in this real world. Or I could sit for fucking hours on TikTok just scrolling through seven second fucking videos and waste my life. You know what I mean? And everybody's lives, they're so consumed by social media now that they don't even know how to fucking switch off. You know what I mean? It's like, what uh, Dax, whenever I... Don't quote me because I don't know what song it comes from, but I listen to a lot of his music. But uh, I don't know what song it comes from, but I think it's Joker Returns or something. But he says, uh, or Gotham. And it's like, he says, uh, do you ever realise or something like, how you feel like you feel when you take that time away from your phone, fake shit goes viral, we know this won't. You know what I mean? And it's like, yes, got him. <laughs> I, I, love, I love how soon as you said it, it clicked my go. Yeah, <laughs> I listen I to Dax far too much. I, I know what's yeah. on this. I love Dax, like, but it's like, it's the fact that he says that, and you're just like, well, yeah. You know what I mean? Because everybody is in it for it. It's like, it's like whenever he said, uh, we're not in love, but in 2021, I'm going to let her have my son so we can post and fake happy. Um, while our real lives come undone. Yeah, while our real lives come undone, yeah. And it's, it's like, you know, that's literally it. I mean, your whole lives are so consumed by social media that you'll even fucking put your family on it, you know, your children and shit, just so you can fucking get followers. I mean, you'll you'll have your kid come home with their grades from school and you'll exploit that just to get clicks on fucking YouTube. Like, yeah. how sad. Just fucking turn your phone off and live your life. That's why four years ago, or for whenever I was 14 until I was 18, I didn't have a Facebook account because I fucking deleted it. Because I was spending too much time on it. I was getting bullied on it like mad. So I just turned off. And I just stopped. And my life was completely better. So it was yeah. now I, talk, I have all my mates that I talk to. on it like you and fucking Slay and Mark and all that. And Snapchat and all that. But that's only to talk to my friends. I don't really... The only things yeah. I do is put, repost Family Guy clips on YouTube. That's all I do. Because it's funny as hell. You know, but... Um, or on Facebook, sorry. But like... That's why I felt so good, and whenever I'm not on my phone, say Christmas Day, I never spend it on my phone because it's just it's I'm yeah. just dirty, enjoying my life, and my life is you know it's great without a phone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so good. I even consider getting myself a flip phone so I didn't have the, you know, so I could just text my mates and then not have to spend all my time on my phone. Of course, I never do that though. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. you know. Well, uh, Twitter, TikTok, most uh, toxic social medias. So, yes. but my my whole point is, is a wise man named Tom McDonald once said. Go ahead and change the channel. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, if, if you don't like something, don't pay attention to it. Simple as. If it ain't real world problem, it ain't worth your time. Simple as. So, yeah, yeah we'll finish it there. Um, yeah, we'll finish it there before we go on another round. So, anyway, <laughs> I've been on the speed. I hope you all enjoyed. I uh, hope you all are thinking positive, test negative. Hope you all are having an amazing day. I've been on the speed. That's been Shay. Shay, do you have anything to say? No, I like Coke. There we go. I like Coke. See him. <laughs> <laughs> well the anyway we'll end it there before we go on another fucking round because i have a lot more to say but i'm just not wasting my time anyway so yeah hope you all enjoy hope you all have an amazing day hope you're thinking positive and testing negative i've been on the spirit that's for sure and we'll see you in the next one so uh peace peace